Hey guys, Rhonda Doxy here with the Real Haven Group. And today I am here to share some valuable information to all the people out there looking to possibly sell their home in the near future. The task can be kind of overwhelming and there are a few things that you can do um, to help get it ready to go on the market. And so I am gonna provide a quick checklist for you. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is declutter the home and especially in the living areas and closets. Just remember, less is more. People wanna come in and look at the house and be able to see everything nice and tidy so that they can actually see the flow of the house and see the whole layout and how big the closets are and that kind of thing. So, declutter. Next, this is really difficult for some people, but you want to depersonalize the home. And what I mean by that is you need to take down all of your personal photos of your family and your friends and all the fun things that you've done over the years. People want to be able to come into a home and actually visualize themselves in the home. And if there's some really cool pictures of you traveling through Europe or something, they're going to be more distracted and want to look at those pictures instead of actually looking at the home. So depersonalize your home. Next, you're going to want to look at the walls in your home and really think about spending a little bit of money and painting the interior. Really making all of the rooms a neutral color, which will really help people again visualize what it might be for themselves to live, live in the home. Also, you will want to make sure all the handles, knobs, and light bulbs in the home are tended to. A lot of people overlook this and when buyers walk through and start opening doors, they don't want to fill loose doorknobs and they don't want to walk into a room that doesn't have proper lighting because the light bulbs are burned out. So make sure all of that stuff is taken care of by tightening it all up and replacing light bulbs. Next, you'll want to turn your attention to the outside of the home. Remember that first impression is a lasting impression. And so if they drive up to the home and things look kind of disorganized and in disarray, they're not gonna really be happy with what they see even going forward. So you wanna make sure that the yard is all cleaned and trimmed up, put some mulch out there, put some new flowers out there so that when somebody drives up, the home looks very nice and inviting. The other thing that you might think about is actually spending a little bit of money on staging. And a lot of people don't think about this, but it might be beneficial to hire a stager just to come in and look how you have the home laid out. Maybe if some items in your home are a little bit worn, they can replace them with some newer looking items and just make the house look more up to date and inviting. The last thing that I would really advise you to do is hire a qualified local agent in your area. That agent will help you get through all of these steps and advise you on little things that need to be done around the home to make it great for people whenever we're going out to market the home. They'll hire a professional photographer, they'll create great marketing to get the home out in, in front of as many people as possible and they will network with our other agents to make sure that they know about the new home going on the market. So it's really good to hire a local agent. That person will also help you through the negotiation process and make sure everything goes smoothly from the time that you get a contract to closing and you get to cash your check. If you'd like more information about the home selling process, make sure to click, click the link below and we will send you a home selling guide that will go over a lot of this information in a lot more detail for you and maybe even a few other tips. And if you like what you heard, be sure and like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks and have a great day.